What did I tell you? What did I tell you? You had to make a stand. These papers are good for nothing, save for adorning the walls of fucking fools. Hello, sir. Please stay calm. They'll be starting soon. Granted. An anonymous tip on excess stock. We can't ignore those. But he won't open the door. I see. Let's go. What the hell is with you? Hey, I feel like you like me a lot. What were you touching? I just remembered the New Year. Didn't we have a drink here. right over here? Come over here, you sir. Remember? Of course I do. Young Grisha, Open up, Petrovich. Slava. Uh, come in. Thanks. Follow me. Mikhail Petrovich, you know why we are here. I suggest you donate your excess stock voluntarily, or there will be trouble. Akin? You know I can't do that. It is for my granddaughter. I have been saving from my own allowance. I can't do anything. We had a tip about your stock, and had to react to that. Commence the search. Check there. Oh, this is so unfair. I earned this. Saved my wages. I know, but it we follow the rules. Honest. I found the cash, so it. He does have some. I cash Not too much here, though. My granddaughter is sick. She needs that. Sure, your granddaughter. I bet it's going to the market. Colonel. Tell them, please! You know it's true! Sir, this can't Enough. be... Enough! We're only confiscating the excess stock. But, sir, I will have to report everything. Take this to HQ and report that stopping the search was my decision. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I know you didn't have a choice. Thanks for leaving me, son. I'm sorry, too. You were right about choice, though. Nobody had it. I'll be going now. <sighs> Don't you. mention it. Thank you, Slav. Enough is enough. Your quota wasn't conjured out of thin air. It was calculated properly, and you're short. Pay the rest. Look, officer, think about it. Where am I supposed to get so much? You took all the green stuff from the people, the tray is dead, and you saddled me with a quarter of a bottle. You keep saying that I'm just a dirty whiner and that everything will be fine. Do you still think they're doing something? I know, but we already have a bunch of new arrivals waiting. Sure, event cuckoo from a dirty station, I gather, or the depot. Hello, Colonel, sir. Glad to see you back. I'm sorry for the mess here, but the refugees just keep coming in. The dirty stations have it real tough. Oscom, open up! Ah, hello there, Private. I'm completely drained. Kirill? Hmm. All right, Private. Tell me what's going on. Nothing. I just don't want... You don't want what? To be a Private! And I don't want to be an Oscom anymore! Right. Please, elaborate on that. I want to see Biraskaya. And I saw the soldiers taking green stuff from people. I mean, one traitor, when I give it to them, started shouting. They beat them up and took all the green stuff anyway. Well, this is just unacceptable. First thing tomorrow, I'm going to get their names. You said Oscom protects people, but you just take their green stuff away. 
Why? It's not easy. We're short on green stuff. That's why we must take from those who have lots of it and give to those who don't have enough. Or else the rich would just sit on their stock while the poor would all die. Could you call that fair? Not at all. Of course I couldn't call that fair. Right. Of course, those who we take from aren't happy, but there's no other way, you see? Yeah, if I had all my green stuff taken, I wouldn't be happy about that. But I understand now. Good. Still, those soldiers were wrong. I'll make sure they are punished, and then they'll have to go and apologize. Yes, make them. They must apologize. Great. Speaking of green stuff, it's time we gave you a shot, so give me your arm. All right. Done. Miller here. Do you read? Over. I read you, Colonel. There's some static. Over. I hear static too. I'm entering Sibirskaya. Was this where the last battle happened? Over. Yes. I only know of it from Father's words. Right before the rioters started their last attack, we had to talk. Do you really have to go? You didn't rest at all. The rioters are advancing. There's no time for rest. Rioters? Tell me that. If we, Oscar, are protecting people, why lie to them? Wow. You've grown up, Private. And I'm none the wiser. So let's have a grown-up talk. Should we tell the truth? Of course. But life is a complex thing. In the hands of our enemies, truth may be dangerous. We must carefully choose who we can entrust with it, and who we cannot. The command sees the whole picture, and makes decisions. However unpleasant those decisions might be sometimes, they are still necessary. The command thinks about everyone, while the civilians only think about themselves. That is why the truth that might scare them must be kept secret, for their own good. Do you understand that? I do, but still, this is a scary way of thinking. There are a lot of scary things in life. Yet, I brought you up well. You are strong and brave. You can take it. All right, time to go. You get home and don't step out or let anyone in until I'm back. It's an order. Yes, Colonel, sir. Sergeant, walk him home. Yes, sir. Let's go, Kirill. All right. Good luck, Dad. Good luck, son.
Slava, I'm sorry about that. I know you had no choice. <laughs> had I said nothing, they would have never believed they found the under the bridge. Neither I nor you had a choice in this, Petrovich. Good luck to you two. See you on the train. Thank you. Hello, Colonel, sir. Glad to see you back. Don't stand around! Man the defenses! Yes, sir! Lieutenant, I'll take the detonator. Give me cover. Yes, sir. Attention! Covering fire for the Colonel. No saving ammo! Roger that!
Come in, HQ. Klebnikov here. HQ here. One charge didn't work. Damn. Fall back to Sibirskaya and stop them there. I've got no one else to rely on. Roger that. Over and out. Colonel, first! They blew the airlock and are coming down from the surface! HQ. Klebnikov here. HQ here. One charge didn't work. Damn. Fall back to Sibirskaya and stop them there. I've got no one else to rely on. Roger that. Over and out. Colonel, first! They blew the airlock and are coming down from the surface! It's either us or them!
Operation successful. Pawns are all dealt with. Ready for evacuation. You fucker. What do you mean? Already left. What? What's going on? We're covering evacuation. Evacuation? But you just killed everyone! Soldiers! Civilians! Nobody left to evacuate! Slava! There's only enough green stuff left to evacuate the leadership! Everyone else is doomed! Gas was used just to cut the agony short. So you knew it! You knew it all along, you motherfucker! <coughs> Did I have a choice? And what difference does it make now? I made a mistake leaving me! <laughs> Petrov! Petrov! The fuckers left with ours! Get Seryoga on the line now! <laughs> what? Dead? Seryoga? Son? Now listen to me. There's an RPG in the gun cabinet. Get it and rush to the old crossroads. Blow the fuckers up there! Go! <laughs> So, what do we do now? <laughs> Whatever. I had enough. <coughs> so long, Slava. himself? Why? Don't look there. I'm sorry I broke your order. There was a shooting at the station. Then it all went quiet, and you didn't come. I was worried, and I went looking for you. Listen, I told you earlier. Who should be told the truth, and who should not? Forget it. It's not for us to decide. And if you're being fooled, it's never for your own good. That's why he's dead. I... I understand. Good. And now... Let's go home, son. Bunker entrance. Roger that, Colonel. You'll be off the grid inside. So please, be careful. I will, Creel. Miller, over and out. Pine, this is Older. Come in, Older. Older, this is Pine. Speak, Over. Private. I'm at the bunker's door. I'll be off the grid while I'm down there. Don't know how long. When is the next scheduled radio contact? Keep it sharp, Colonel. The battery? Keeping it charged. The door? Look, I'm eating the liver too. And burning the slime, and I don't go to the 30 stations ever. Dad, you want the whole cheat sheet for me. I'm reading off it now. You do just that. Reading helps you remember. That's all, Pine. I'm going offline. Roger that, Elder. Over and out. Pine! Come in, over. Pioneer, over. I love you, son. A whole lot. Uh, I love you too, Dad. And I want you to eat that liver without fail, over and out.
evacuate the complex immediately. Reactor containment failure. Reserve power engaged. All personnel to evacuate the complex immediately. Thank <laughs> you. 
rest. I'm just salt I heard. There you are, brother. Mm -hmm. You found the maps and took a break, I see. I need a breather, too. Boy, did these hunks of iron chafe. <laughs> Gotta watch out not to stay for too long, though. Your son sent me here, told where to look. He's tough. You're Kirill. Yes, I can see his effort. Children. It's always about them. I'm here because of my daughter. She's smart, strong, kind, beautiful. I can't even tell you how proud I am of her and how much I love her. I'm trying to be a father, but end up a colonel. It's as if by showing affection, I'd also show my vulnerability, not just to her. To her husband, too. At first, I even thought that boy was all right. But his obsession with truth started driving me mad. He kept risking his life while he had the love of the best woman in the world. Decent people want normal things. A thicker broth, a warm place to call home, and healthy children. But he wants truth. Let me glance at those maps. Boy, was I mad at him. But then I took a closer look at the world. 
re-examined my life up to that point somewhat. Especially when I heard your story. I saw my past self in you, friend. We both served the great lie, because we both made ourselves believe it was necessary. And if not for him, I would have ended up like you did. But now, finally, my life has a real purpose for a change. All because I can finally look the truth in the eye. I think you understand. Thank you for the maps. Don't think it was all in vain. You saved us all. And Creel? I'll give him this watch and make sure he gets out of this hellhole. You have my word. Well, it's time. Farewell, Colonel Klipnikov. Rest easy. Artyom, stay with me! Hold on! Son! Thank you. 